In 1969, NASA achieved what was once thought impossible. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. And put the first humans on the moon. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Now, over 50 years later, NASA has announced its plans to return to the moon once again. We are ready. We are going to the moon for all humanity. We are Artemis. With advances in technology and scientific knowledge, NASA hopes to uncover new information about the moon and use it as a launching pad for further exploration of our solar system. The question on everyone's minds is, is that the only reason why NASA wants to go to the moon again? NASA's Artemis program, named after the Greek goddess of the moon, aims to land the first woman and the next man on the moon by 2024. The program also seeks to establish a sustainable human presence on the lunar surface by 2028. The Artemis program represents a significant step forward in human space exploration and a return to the spirit of exploration that drove NASA's early missions. In their appearance at The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, they said, Why are we going back to the moon? Because we want to see humans on Mars. While the Artemis program is focused on returning humans to the moon, the ultimate goal is to use the moon as a stepping stone for human exploration of Mars and other deep space destinations. NASA's Mars exploration program is already well underway, and the challenges of a human mission to Mars are significant, but the potential rewards are immense. A human mission to Mars represents the next giant leap in human space exploration. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. Ready to begin seeking the sands of half-life. The Artemis crew's desire to see humans on Mars is a testament to the human spirit of exploration and discovery. 32 seconds into the flight. The three liquid fuel main engines soon will throttle back. One major reason for NASA's renewed interest in the moon is the possibility of finding valuable resources that could be used to support future missions. The moon is rich in natural resources, such as water, helium-3, and rare earth elements. These resources could be used to create rocket fuel, build infrastructure, and sustain human life on future missions to Mars and beyond. Another reason for NASA's focus on the moon is to gain a better understanding of the lunar environment and its potential impact on human health. The moon's low gravity and lack of atmosphere make it an ideal place to study the effects of long-term space travel on the human body. By studying the moon's environment, NASA can develop better technologies and protocols for future deep space missions. The moon also holds the potential for new discoveries in the field of astronomy. With the help of new telescopes and observational tools, scientists hope to gain a better understanding of the universe by studying the moon's surface and the objects that pass near it. Furthermore, NASA's plans for a return to the moon are not just about scientific discovery. They also aim to inspire a new generation of scientists, engineers, and explorers. A renewed focus on the moon will capture the imagination of the public and inspire new generations to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and math, also known as STEM. However, a return to the moon is not without its challenges. NASA faces a number of technical and logistical hurdles, including developing new technologies for lunar exploration, building a lunar gateway, and establishing a permanent presence on the moon's surface. Additionally, the cost of the Artemis program has come under scrutiny, with some critics arguing that the money would be better spent on other priorities. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of a return to the moon are too great to ignore. NASA's renewed focus on the moon represents a bold new chapter in human space exploration and a commitment to pushing the boundaries of what is possible. And I'm here on the president's behalf to tell the men and women of the Marshall Space Flight Center and the American people that at the direction of the president of the United States, it is the stated policy of this administration and the United States of America to return American astronauts to the moon within the next five years. So, 
Why does NASA want to go to the moon again? The answer's simple. To explore, discover, and inspire. The moon holds the potential for new scientific discoveries, technological advancements, and the inspiration of future generations. With the Artemis program, NASA is taking the next giant leap in human space exploration, and the possibilities are endless. But the question remains, what will we discover on our return to the moon? Only time will tell, but one thing is for sure, the journey will be full of wonder, excitement, and adventure. <laughs>